I'm Liz and this is Vera is my bag. Uh, today I'm here to do a tag video. I've been putting this video off for a week. Um, I was tagged by Amber, that girl. She's a uh, fellow um, YouTuber who um, reviews and um, does videos about her handbag collection with an emphasis on Vera Bradley. And she created this tag. Uh, and tagged a bunch of our community. Um, first of all, I wanted to um, give a shout out to her and um, put up a little picture of her channel and the video. The video. Um, so the tag is called the um, If I Could Keep Only Five um, Bags Out of My Entire Vera Bradley Collection. Um, and so she challenged um, the community of YouTubers uh, that make Vera Bradley uh, content uh, to think about which five bags they would have to keep if um, they were told they had to give up uh, all of all the rest of their collection. Um, so anyway, I want to shout her out, and she's wonderful. She's fairly new, kind of to um, the Vera uh, community that we have. Um, I do want to just say that our community is wonderful. Um, I had seen a comment somewhere. Um, wondering if we were really uh as drama free as we seem to be in our community <laughs> i would i would say there's no drama whatsoever i don't think there's any drama to be had over um handbags but <laughs> you never know <laughs> anyway um no that everybody gets along really well i think i would love to see more of you uh create videos and get our community even bigger um there's several um youtubers that i um, follow and watch, but I'm sure there's many, many more, uh, that cover Vera Bradley. So, um, you know, do some, do some searches inside of YouTube for Vera Bradley and you'll come up with a lot of channels. Um, anyway, I think our community is great. I'm very happy to be part of it. And, um, so I'm going to do this tag today. Um, in Amber's video, she, um, made some, um, sort of uh, categories and um, maybe some parameters for herself. Um, I'm not going to use the exact parameters that she used. First of all, um, well, the first parameter I am going to use, um, and that is um, that I'm throwing out all of the um, backpacks and, and uh, travel bags that could be possibly chosen um, so that eliminates a little bit of choices for me. So for now, those are going to be thrown out. Um, and um, her other parameters or uh, categories, she, it, it was um, a, a choice of hers that she was sort of figuring out like what she would want to have if she was limited to only five, would she want to have a smaller bag, a larger bag, a toad, a crossbody, and like that. Um, for me, I decided that in my parameters, um, the only thing that I really was going to take into consideration um, was, for me, the, um, the beauty and my just love of the pattern. Um, I'm not really thinking about functionality so much or my favorite styles. Um, this is for me all about the Vera patterns um, and what are the ones that I can't absolutely cannot live without. Um, and uh, so all that being said, there is going to be a bonus round. <laughs> Just I think um, Kelly at Potato Peach did a bonus round. Um, she, and I am, I'm doing a bonus round, but mine is not going to be small items. Mine, my, well, we'll talk about it when I get there, but there is going to be a bonus round because this is almost an impossible task. In fact, this is why this video hasn't been made um, in such a long time after she tagged me because every time I would start to pull bags out and it would be like, oh, but I can't leave this one behind. And I really love this. And what about this? And so I just decided that, the parameters for me were just going to be about pattern. I had, I had, I couldn't stand the fact of not having something in these patterns um, if everything else was taken away from me. So um, you might see some repeats here from things you've seen before, especially in some of the current videos, but I had to be honest about 
the ones that I actually had to have and had to keep. Um, so we will start off um, with something that you've seen just recently. Um, and that is the um, this tote in um, Tavern on the Green, which is a 1990 pattern. And this bag is in um, just beautiful condition for being 30 years old. <laughs> and um, in 1990, I was a, a secretary at um, Motorola and just had little kids, um, was a single parent and doing that, you know, race them to daycare in the morning and go to my job and race home and make dinner and start the process all over again. So that's how old this bag is. And I do, I think I remember actually, um, um, I've, we had a female vice president, um, and these bags, of course, you know, were expensive and not everybody could afford to get them, but she, uh, obviously could. And she had a lot of tavern on the green. I remember seeing this pattern back then. Um, so anyway, it's a gorgeous pattern um, with a lot of little critters in it, some rabbits and birds. There's this little bird here. Um, beautiful, beautiful flowers and detail going on in this pattern. Um, a rooster. There's a squirrel. We've got a... Uh, staghorn. I think it's a staghorn, a deer, and um, a unicorn. And so just because of this, the detail in this pattern and the beauty of it, there is no way that I would part with this bag if they came and took um, the rest of my collection. I just, it's uh, rare and gorgeous, and I just would have to keep this one. And again, this is not about functionality. Obviously, this is a very large tote, and you're probably going to see more large totes uh, just because of the gorgeousness of them. All right, so that's um, the first one. Um, secondly, I would have to choose um, Lavender Meadow. Um, this is another Vera tote. Um, and as I said, this has nothing to do with getting a... I, my favorites in different sizes or functionality, but this is completely about pattern. And um, in this case, just the gorgeousness of the uh, the trim, the piping, um, all the flowers going on in here, the purples and pinks. Um, Lavender Meadow is just absolutely stunning. I love this little pink flower bud. This is one of my favorites. There's these little star-shaped flowers. Just wonderful um, palette of some turquoise greeny leaves with the pinks and purples. You've got these sort of more of a grass green in the stems and leaves. It's just a, a beautiful, beautiful pattern. There's also ladybugs in here, which I'm trying to find one for you. Um, there is, uh, little bumblebees, just such a layered and gorgeous pattern. I'm really surprised I can't find any ladybugs for you. The interior of this, I've got these all stuffed with, you know, sweaters or things to make them a little bit, um, but the interior of this also has, uh, ladybugs, um, and leaves. So just a gorgeous pattern. Is this a ladybug right here? No. I don't know why I can't find any for you. Oh, here's one right there. So the little ladybugs. But for me, this is just um, a bag that I could not give up um, because of the pattern. Just a, just a fantastic job that Vera did with this. So that is number two. Um, number three. Let's see, where did I put it? Okay, number three for me, um, and these are not in order of like my favorites or anything. These are just all the ones that were in my five. Um, another um, pattern and bag that I would not give up is my uh, Vera Tote, my large Vera Tote in um, French Paisley. French Paisley is just 
so beautiful. Little fly, uh, birds, little tiny details in all of the, again, this one has that trim on the side. And I just cannot live without this. Like I have to be able to see this pattern and I would not want to give it up. Um, gorgeous. I've got so many different colors going on here. This has a very um, Easter feel to me because of the sort of pa um, the, the dark, sort of darker pastels. Um, there's a lot of sort of that feeling for me in this bag to get a good, good glimpse of this pattern. This is an absolutely gorgeous pattern, and I think um, uh, Kira, Kieran, not Kira, Kieran, um, for showing this recently in some of her videos, um, that got my, uh, it got me wanting to see it again and bring out my bag again, and was one of the reasons why I decided that this had to be in this video. It's just so pretty. All this inside this one, the paisley, so pretty. Anyway, if you watch Kieran, you've seen this recently. You've seen um, this pattern recently. So this would be another one that I had to keep. So I think this is number three. Yeah, two more bags to go. So my French paisley, Vera Tote. Um, okay. Number four is my um, custom bag in uh, Foxwood Menagerie Blue. Uh, this is just absolutely, apparently I'm very attracted to blues and pastels um, because again, I'm picking something that's very, got a lot of pastels going on with the dark background. I think that's another, um, kind of attracted to the darker backgrounds with um, all of the design and the small elements going on. Um, so we've got lots of little woodland critters, um, quail, fox, and of course this is fox or menagerie blue, and this little um, chipmunk. We've got a hare here. There's one more little guy. There's a nuthatch, I think, in here. Um, there's a little... Uh, I can't get it to focus on there. It's kind of like a little hamster looking squirrel, <laughs> not squirrel, mouse. Um, but I don't know exactly what that is. And here's, an, here's a little J, looks like a J. Um, I think there was one more bird. But anyway, it's a, just a gorgeous pattern. And I uh, designed this on the custom site. It's a little bit pricey, but well worth it for this pattern. And then for the um, straps and the interior, I went with the um, Foxwood Blue. And uh, that was, um, sorry, I've got it stuffed with a blanket, but yeah, Foxwood Blue. Gorgeous pattern. Lots of wine colors, which I really love. Well, along with these sort of, goes well with these mints, mint colors. There is a fox under here somewhere. I've forgotten where it is. Let's see. Can we find that fox that's underneath the... Nope, I don't see him. He is under here somewhere. There he is. Yep. Yeah. And this is my... Uh, uh, of course, the veers have these like secret pockets, and he, I have a little fox inside that secret pocket as well. Um, anyway, this is number four, one of my uh, favorite patterns, and um, this bag, another Vera tote, um, is one that I would not be able to part with, would have to keep. Um, okay, let's stack that up there. All right, number five. Um, this might be the number one bag, and the reason I say that is because uh, this was a bag that none of us thought we would ever see. Um, many of us were um, uh, excited. Many of us were disappointed, I should say, that um, Hummingbird Park was released last spring um, and we didn't see uh, the 100 handbag um, that we had seen a glimpse of on Amazon. So I was on a Facebook group and um, 
one day, we all kind of knew Hummingbird Park would come at some point, but one day someone found a photograph on Amazon that uh, apparently was a mistake because it was taken down really quickly. Um, but we got a glimpse of it. We snapped some people, snapped some images, and everybody was drooling over this bag. This is the 100 um, handbag in Hummingbird Park. And um, when they released Hummingbird Park, um, this was nowhere to be seen. And everybody was, uh, you know, there was quite a few of us that were um, very disappointed um, that it wasn't there. And we were... Um, absolutely sure that it had just gotten passed over and that we wouldn't see it, that it was, a you know, it was like a design picture that had shown up on Amazon. Um, but I think it was about a week after, maybe two weeks after Hummingbird Park was released that um, there was a uh, release of this and the large on the go um, in Hummingbird Park. Um, as an online exclusive, only through the Vera website. It wasn't at any of the Vera stores. And um, it was such a shock, such a surprise. Everybody was uh, quickly ordering it. Um, but this is probably because of, because of that anticipation and because of how gorgeous um, it turned out to be, the pattern turned out to be. And because I also was already a huge fan of this particular um, 100 handbag, this, um, um, what's, uh, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, because there's been other 100 handbags that had longer straps, um, but this particular version of the 100 handbag with the crossbody strap and the uh, two grab handles um, and the double zipper on top have all uh, led it to be one of my top five, um, maybe my favorite bag of ever, um, from Vera Bradley, just because it has all of those things, um, the excitement and the shock and, um, the disappointment that originally was there, all of that combined. And just, it turned out to be such a beautiful, uh, bag and it has these, uh, this, this ribbon trim on the sides of the uh, straps that just, dress it up and make it so gorgeous. Um, I am a big fan of the 100 handbag. I love the sort of boxy shape to it. Um, I love that there's, there's actually, um, two, uh, top side pockets on it. Um, two top side pockets and, um, let's see, where's my zipper? One on this side and one on this side. And then there is also a slip pocket in the front that goes all the way down. Um, and that um, is great for putting a cell phone in. I love the, the swivel um, handles. I love the thickness or the width of the um, strap. I love the big flowers. That's probably not my favorite. This one of these is my, I think I, this is one of my favorite flowers here, this big one. Um, and I was so happy that I got, um, several hummingbirds on this bag. There's one on the front here. Um, I believe there was a hummingbird. Yes, there's a hummingbird here on the top. Um, I'm pretty sure there was one on the side. Yeah, right now I can't find them all. I think, anyway, uh, a gorgeous bag. Gorgeous. Just love it. And... Um, I find that I carry it, you know, kind of with all these straps sort of in my hand. If I have to use this um, crossbody, um, I usually um, put use it as just a short shoulder bag. Um, I don't usually use it crossbody. But for me, um, this is my ideal handbag. Um, this shape, I'll just open this up for you. Um, they This bag um, does tend to kind of when there's when it's not full, it tends to kind of pucker um, down on itself, um, fold in on itself. So I do keep it quite full when I'm using it. There's that beautiful um, hummingbird park interior, lots of hummingbirds in there. Um, so yeah, this is this this will never ever leave my collection. I will always keep this bag. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There's 20 minutes of my five um, bags that I could never let go. 
that if all the rest were taken, those were the ones that I would keep. Um, so here's our bonus round. Because I just eliminated the uh, travel bags and backpacks, my bonus round, um, and I know this goes against <laughs> choosing only five, but it's my channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> and I'm going to choose um, five bags that I would keep out of my uh, travel and backpack collection um, if I... Uh, was allowed that bonus, um, as Kelly had said in hers, if she was allowed to keep um, five more items. Okay, without further ado, here's the five uh, bonus items out of my backpack and travel um, bags. Um, so this is Fox Forest, and you've seen this before uh, recently, and this is the uh, campus backpack in Fox Forest. Uh, gorgeous pattern with um, very magical looking um, trees, the foxes, we've got some birds going on here. These, these flowers that to me, they look like gumdrops. Um, just a very beautiful uh, pattern. The uh, campus backpack um, has the two side pockets. And in this version, it has a cord hole for grommet for um, pulling your charging cord through if you want to. Um, it has um, this large compartment, a uh, laptop compartment back here, um, quite a big bag, this compartment here, and another zip here. Um, so yes, this would be one of my um, travel bags if I was allowed to keep five more um, bags. Um, all right. The next one um, would be my small backpack in Fruit Grove. Um, I absolutely love Fruit Grove, again, because of sort of these um, minty greens and the, um, the they're not pastel, but they, they're not, um, I wouldn't call them bright either. They're very, they're very watercolory looking. I think that's what I like, but there's lots of pinks and reds going on here with the mint green. And um, the small backpack is uh, a great style for me for um, something that I can use as a sort of grab and go um, when I don't feel like taking a, a handbag. I want something a little more sporty looking. Sorry, this is my cell phone bag in there. Um, anyway, this would be uh, one of the um, items that I would keep from my collection in that uh, category. Um, okay, number um, three. Um, I just had to include this pattern. And um, this is a campus. I think this might be an XL campus. This is an XL campus backpack. Um, and this is in um, Holland Garden, um, same pattern I showed in my video yesterday. And I just had to get Holland Garden in here somehow. <laughs> it wasn't going to be one of uh, the, uh, the small Vera, but I needed, I needed to get Holland Garden in here. So this is where, how I'm doing it. Um, I got this from, I think, Zulily this past summer and uh, just love it. I haven't gotten to use it yet. It still has tags on it, obviously. But this is, again, another um, backpack. It's very similar to the, um, the Fox Forest that I just showed you. So that would be my um, number three. Um, number four. Of course, I had to figure out a way to get Petite Garden in here. Um, this is a VBU um, tote. Um, and it's in Petite Garden. Uh, this has the, um, this is like a travel bag, and this has a crossbody. Um, I like the way that it kind of pulls down on the sides. It gets it a little bit square looking, which is always um, a shape that I enjoy, um, rather than it sort of being the uh, pointed, the pointed corners look like this. I like it when it falls down. So that's very nice when that's attached there. Um, but Petite Garden is a pattern that's just very, whimsical and cute that has snails. There's a snail there. All of these different varieties of little tiny ele flower elements. 
Um, I think I counted once and there was like 19 different flowers um, that they show on here. Um, just gorgeous with this. Um, the straps are made out of this sort of cotton material with this denim piping. Just beautiful. Um, the inside of the bag is this uh, chambray. Um, but yeah, this would absolutely be a bag that I have to keep um, if I got to keep five uh, travel bags. This would be one of them. And the last bag is another bag that I, um, this is a custom bag, but this is a bag that I found on eBay, I believe. Um, and this is um, a small backpack in um, multi, uh, Cloud Vines Multi and Multi. And uh, it's just gorgeous. I couldn't part with this. I found it, um, somebody was selling their uh, custom bag. Um, great little little size. Uh, again, a small backpack that can just grab and go. Um, this is a little different because these, this is when the straps, um, or at least in the custom, the straps are this little bit narrower um, size than the other one that I, other small backpack that I was showing you where that one had the ergonomic. This has just the straight ones and I prefer that. Um, so this is um, small backpack, Cloudvine Multi. Just cute, cute, cute. The background is a very, very faint lilac um, on this bag, which is kind of hard to see in this light. I back it up. It looks blue, but it is kind of a lilac. Um, so I love this bag, just love it. So this would be um, my number five that I would keep. The other reason I love it is because the interior of it also has the foxwood blue, which is just a fantastic um, pattern. So just loved uh, seeing that was what the person chose for the interior. So this was a great um, find that um, was from last year. So that's um, my tag video. Thank you, Amber, for including me in the tag. And if there's anyone out there that hasn't done this um, and, it, and uh, wants to make the tag, you should. Um, so much fun. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon in a couple days with another video.